Welcome back. In this video, I will discuss how to design or implement OR gate using Adeline Neural Init. This is how the architecture of Adeline Neural Init looks like. I have already discussed the working principle of Adeline Neural Init in the previous video. The link for that video is given in the description below. Do follow that particular video to understand the working principle of this Adeline Neural Unit. In this video, I will discuss uh, the implementation or the design part of OR gate using Adeline Neural Unit. OR gate has uh, two inputs, so that's the reason we need uh, two weights over here. I will set those particular weights to a small random number. Let us say that the values are 0.1 in this case. It is not hard and fast rule that we need to set to 0.1. You can set some different random values also. At the same time, we need one more uh, value that is a learning rate. I will set that particular learning rate to 0.1 here. Again, it is not uh, hard and fast rule that we need to set to 0.1. You can set some different value over here also. One more important uh, part of uh, the Adeline neural unit is uh, the expected error. That is also called as least squared error in this case. I will set the value of that particular least squared error to 2. Unless and until we get the calculated error less than this particular 2, we need to go back and update this particular weights as well as we need to train our Adeline neural network over here. As a summary, we have set the weights that is W1, W2 as well as bias 2.1 here and the learning rate is set to 0.1 and the least error squared error is set to 2 over here. Now coming back to this particular OR gate, the truth table of OR gate looks like this. It has two inputs. Let us say that x1 and x2. T is the target over here. The target is minus 1 only when both the inputs are minus 1 in this case. If any one of the input is 1, the target will become 1 over here. Now, uh, what we need to do is uh, we need to give one input, one example as an input to this particular uh, Adeline neural unit and then we need to calculate the output over here. To calculate the output, we use this particular equation that is uh, yn is equal to b plus summation of xi wi where b is the bias, we have set that particular bias to 0.1 and then xi is the input. So in this case, uh, x1 will become 1 and x2 will become 1 over here. w1 is 0.1, w2 is also 0.1 in this case because we have set the w1, w2 and the bias to 0.1 over here. Using this particular thing, we will calculate the y in for this particular input over here. So once you put all those particular values, that is B plus X1, W1 plus X2, W2, we will get 0.3 as the value over here. So once you get this particular 0.3 for this input, we calculate the difference between target and this particular calculated output that is equivalent to 0.7 over here. After this, uh, we will try to update the weights with respect to this input again. The weight updation equation looks something like this. WI new is equal to WI old plus delta WI. Delta WI is always equivalent to alpha that is learning rate. T minus Y in we have already calculated that is 0.7. XI that is 1 and 1 in this particular case. So first we need to calculate delta W1 and then we need to calculate delta W2. Put it over here. You will get W1 new as well as W2 new over here. W1 new is equivalent to W1 old as I said earlier it is equivalent to 0.1 over here and delta WI is equivalent to alpha that is 0.1 t minus y in that is equal to 0.7 xi is in this case it is 1 over here once you solve it you will get 0.17 as the new weight with respect to w1 here similarly w2 new is equal to old weight is 0.1 again alpha that is the learning rate is equal to 0.1 t minus y in is equal to 0.7 and xi in this case is also 1 over here the updated weight is again 0.17 here Similarly, we need to update the bias also that is B new is equal to B old plus uh, delta B. Delta B is equal to alpha that is a learning rate multiplied by T minus Y in. We do not have this particular XI because with respect to bias the input is always equal to 1 over here. So if you multiply 1 here we do not get any change so that is the reason we will remove it over here. Now uh, B new is equal to B old is 0.1. Delta B is equal to alpha that is uh, 0.1 multiplied by T minus Y in that is 0.7. Again, we will get 0.17 over here. So with respect to first input, we have calculated the Y in. That's the first thing we have done. And then we have updated those particular weights here. Once you update the weights, we need to calculate error with respect to this particular input here. That is error is always equal to T minus Y in bracket square. T minus Y in we have already calculated that is 0.7. So 0.7 bracket square is equal to 0.49 in this case. So this is the error with respect to first input. 
now what we do is uh, we will give this as an input that's a second input uh, as an input and then we will calculate first y in over here and then we will calculate t minus y in and then we will update this particular weights and bias and the previous weights in this case will become 0 0.17 0 0.17 and 0 0.17 over here so once you do this particular thing we will have to calculate the error over here again and the same thing will be repeated for second one and then the third one over here i have shown this particular calculation in the form of table over here so this is the first one that is the first input uh, one one is the input and target is one here as said earlier that uh, yn was uh, 0.3 in the previous uh, slide I have shown here t minus yn has become 0.7 delta w1 delta w1 is nothing but this particular thing this part I am talking this particular part is uh, 0.1 into 0.7 into 1 that is nothing but you can say that 0.07 over here so that is what I have written similarly delta w2 and delta b is written here so once you have these particular things we can get the new weight new weight is always equal to old weight plus delta w1 that is nothing but 0 0.1 plus 0 0.07 will become 0 0.17 i think we got the same value over there also previous weight with respect to w2 is 0 0.1 and delta w2 is equal to 0 0.07 we got a 0 0.17 here uh, del uh, b is old b is equal to 0 0.1 delta b is 0 0.07 again we got 0 0.17 here and t minus y in bracket square that is y in we have t minus y in we have calculated its square is equal to 0.49 this is the error with respect to first input similarly i will explain one more input here that is t minus uh, sorry 1 and minus 1 as the input over here target is again 1 over here y in if you calculate with respect to this input you will get 0.17 here that is nothing but uh, bias plus w1x1 plus w2x2 w1 is 0.17 w2 is 0.17 bias is equal to 0.17 for this particular example t minus y n is equal to 1 minus uh, 0.17 which is equal to 0.83 here and then we need to calculate delta w1 delta w2 and delta b delta w1 is equal to alpha multiplied by t minus y n alpha is equal to 0.1 t minus y n is equal to 0.83 if you multiply it 0 0.083 you will get and then the input that is 1 you will get 0 0.083 delta w2 is equal to alpha alpha we know that is 0 0.1 0 0.1 multiplied by t minus y in 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.83 is 0 0.083 multiplied by input that is in this case input is 0 0.1 so we will get minus 0 0.083 over here similarly we need to calculate delta b i have given the equation in the previous slide use that equation to get this particular delta b once you get this particular uh, delta terms we will calculate the new weight the new weight is always equal to previous weight that is 0.17 plus the delta term that is 0 0.083 here you will get 0.253 here similarly you have to calculate w2 and then wb here once you get this particular thing we need to calculate the error term square here that is t minus y in we have calculated its square is equal to 0.69 the same thing will be repeated for the third input as well as the fourth input once you've done this particular thing we need to calculate the total error here if you add all this particular uh, the error terms you will get 3.02 in this case but the expected the least error was uh, uh, 2 in that case because the calculated error is greater than the expected error we have to repeat this particular thing again over here the new weights after this particular epoch is uh, 0 0.2621 0 0.2787 and then 0 0.2439 in this case so from here onwards we need to continue so that i will show over here so in the second epoch again we will start with the first input the same process will be repeated and then we will get this particular error term here the same thing will be repeated for the second one and the total error uh, for this particular epoch is uh, 1.938 which is less than what we can say that our expected error that is 2 because it is less than the expected error we will come up with the final weights for this particular uh, the OR gate the final weights are 0 0.3631 388 and bias is equal to 0 0.336 over here we have started with 0 0.1 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 after doing two epochs we have come up with the final weights for this particular acceptable error in this particular case so in this video i have discussed how can we design the or gate with the help of adeline neural unit i have done uh, the tracing for two epochs if this particular error is not acceptable again we need to repeat the same thing for epoch 3 epoch 4 and so on unless and until the calculated error is less than this particular acceptable error over here 
i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching